All right, in this uh, segment, uh, there's these some learning objectives we're going to go over. Uh, we are going to uh, understand how to use Le Chatelier's principle to predict the direction a change will affect an equilibrium mixture uh, with respect to concentration and respect to changes in pressure and volume. Uh, we will also learn to pronounce Le Chatelier correctly. So that's Le Chatelier's principle. If a stress is applied to a reaction mixture at equilibrium, the net reaction occurs in the direction that relieves the stress. Um, and so I would say the most the hardest thing about Le Chatelier's principle is how to pronounce it. So it's Le Chatelier. So the uh, emphasis on the shot, it's not Le, Le Chatelier's or Le Chatelier. Um, maybe my French is only right to within 95%. But if you say that, then people will understand what you, uh, will understand what you mean and consider you, uh, yourself a fairly cultured uh, chemist. So um, Le Chatelier, Excellent. that's the hard part, right? The rest is actually pretty easy. Okay. so. Um, the idea is we look to see uh, which way the stress goes and then let's we'll see what relieves the stress. So an equal equilibrium mixture of 0.5 molar nitrogen, 3.0 molar hydrogen, and 1.98 uh, molar ammonia is disturbed by increasing the N2 concentration to 1.5 molar. This is the same thing we did before. Okay, let's use Le Chatelier's principle. We added more of this. We're adding a stress here. Uh, can I draw an anvil? Anvil a stress on this side, which squishes the equation over to the other side, it's going towards the direction of products, right? So we could do this mathematically as well. We can look at the QC and say, okay, uh, we've uh, added nitrogen. That makes QC lower than KC, which means that the reaction has to go in the forward direction. But Le Chatelier's principle gives us an easier way to think about it. And we add reactants, so equilibrium is restored by removing the reactants. And the way to do that is for the reaction to move forward. Like we add our stress, uh, stress, squish, uh, the reaction goes forward. 